The ADAS package, both the adaptive cruise control and the lane keep assist, are primarily intended for motorway driving, where you've got straighter roads and uh, less of a gradient in the bends. The first thing you have to do is press this main button here, which switches on the system, and you have the ACC and LCAS buttons being enabled. We then set the adaptive cruise control, and you can increase the speed of multiples of two. So here we are, I've set it at 68 miles per hour. You can see and identify a vehicle in front, and it is keeping two chevrons behind that lorry. And then with this button here, you can change the distance between you and the car ahead to effectively three chevrons, two chevrons, or one chevron. Then if I press this button here, the LCAS button, the camera now starts to see the lines in front, and I can feel the response. You'll see the steering wheel actually turning itself from the camera, monitoring the road ahead, watching the bends, and then feeding that input into the steering wheel. Now if I were to totally let go, which is obviously illegal, so I have to be very careful here, what the system does is it recognises that there's no steering input from me whatsoever. And after 10 to 15 seconds, it would beep to say, look, I'm turning myself off. Ultimately, you're the driver. You're responsible for this car. This is just an assistance um, package. And there we go. It's just beeped, and I have to hold on to the steering wheel. It can feel that I'm now back in control of the vehicle for it to uh, re-engage. So now I'm going at 68 miles an hour. This car is about to pull ahead of me system detects it and I'm now starting to brake without me touching anything to keep a safe distance between this car and the car ahead. Now interestingly enough I'm set to 68 miles an hour but you'll see from the speedo that we're actually doing 55 because it says in order to stay in this lane and keep a safe distance from that car I will have to reduce the speed accordingly. So what this means over a long journey it effectively means that you you've got somebody else supporting you which means that you're more alert, it's less tiring over a long drive, you can look around more, check your mirrors more, and uh, be more alert to drivers on the road. Now also, if I want to overtake and change lanes, but I don't um, indicate what effectively will happen, and I'll show you here, if I go to converge lanes, the system beeps at me, tries to put me back into the lane, so if I do want to change lanes, I have to indicate, which makes me a better driver to those around me because they're seeing what I'm doing. And when I do indicate, what happens is the LCAS system, the lane keep, disables itself for a few seconds and then re-engages when you move into the, into the next lane. If you come off the motorway and you go below 45 miles an hour, the lane keep switches off. You've got to remember that the lane keep needs both of the lines on the motorway to be able to operate. If it can't see either of those lanes, it'll turn off anyway. And also, the bends are much tighter off a motorway, which means that the torque going through to the steering wheel could potentially overpower someone if it did go around those bends. And that's never going to be the case, because ultimately the driver always has to be in control of the car. So this system is intended primarily for the motorway.